If you'd like a chance to win this mythic chest, make sure to like, subscribe, and go join the Discord in the links below. Winner will be announced in seven days. Good luck. Hey, what's going on guys, Blues here. So in this video, what I'm gonna do is show you how to get 1.3k HP with zero points into defense. This is gonna be a very easy tutorial on what you need, what to get, and stuff like that. I'm gonna give you a full list of what you need. So first off, I'm just gonna show you, I have no, I have no titles that buff HP. This is one I currently have equipped and nothing else buffs HP other than your race. So you guys will need Cyborg and you will need the upgrade for 10% health. I wouldn't choose a damage one right now. The damage one is a bit subpar compared to other stuff, but it's pretty good. But overall, if you just want to get good HP, just get the HP upgrade. It costs around 29 gears. So first off, let's get into the items. I'm going to give you a list of the items here. I'm going to take them all off now and we'll show you which ones you put on one by one. Try and trade for this stuff as quick as you can if you don't have them. They might go up in price depending on how many people see this video, but right now most of them are fairly cheap to get, so yeah. Uh, let's get a list right now. So first off, open your inventory. We're going to start off and we're going to type in wings. So first off is going to be wings. As you can see, they give 75 extra health and 2 health regen. Then what you're going to need is Pika armor. So Pika armor is probably the best one in the game right now. You get it from the Pika boss which gives you a decent amount. As you can see, it gives strength damage multiplier as well. We have Bat Swarm. Bat Swarm is very basic. It's one of the only things that covers this one slot. So obviously you'll need this one too. Don Mingo Glasses. Uh, it's a bit better than the other ones. We have Anniversary Shades and Star Shades. Don Mingo Glasses just beats them out pretty easily. So what you'll need is Lucy's Fit. This is a cosmetic that goes over the top that also does give HP. We have Moria's Necklace. All these things are fairly cheap. They're all new in the update. So we'll get Moria's Necklace. Uh, a lot of you guys might be wearing an all-seeing eye. You don't actually need to wear the all-seeing eye to get the buffs. So some people still don't know that. So I just thought you'd tell you now. So you can replace it and you'll still get the buffs. So we have a Soul King's Top Hat. I just choose this. You can replace it with Law's Hat, but Law's Hat gives a decent amount. As you'll see, it gives one extra HP regen, but I kind of just rather the extra HP because it buffs well with uh, Cyborg upgrade and stuff. So let's put back on Soul King Top Hat. There you go. As you can see, it gives around 30 more HP. We have Anniversary Lantern. This is a better version of the Lantern that you get normally. So it's just a bit better. And Cupid Headband. These aren't obtainable anymore. So you probably have to trade for this. They are quite like uh, expensive. They can get like one to two chests. I'm not sure what they are right now in trading. But yeah, Cupid Headband is a must. As you'll see in a second, it gives a decent amount. So this is the one that has just been recently buffed. A lot of the people don't know about it, but the Kraken Cape is actually really insane right now. If you watch the extra health and extra health regen, I'm about to equip it. It gives 120 HP and 3 health regen. It is insane. So most of these things will sometimes glitch out in your inventory. I'm not too sure which one it is. There it is there. And the anniversary headband both these weren't equipped once you equipped them for your inventory the rest of them should just bat swarm and headband the only two that should glitch but as you can see i now have 1309 hp with absolutely nothing into defense at all so yeah you just want to get cyborg with the defense upgrade this is buffed by marine so it is pretty good um i'm going to give you a little bit of an extra clip here now just showing the like how much damage this can actually do but keep in mind that whatever defense you have does not go into block. So the HP you have here does not transition over into block. You will still need a bit few points into defense to be able to block some attacks because it scales off your actual defense stats, not your HP. So yeah, um, we're getting to clip now. Uh, it's going to be kind of crazy. I'm just planning on putting everything into sword and going into PvP and just seeing how much damage I do with World Ender. Uh, this may be pretty bad to watch, but we'll see. I uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right, we got a game. Uh, as you can see, when we're in this mode, we have around 1,062 HP, which is kind of ridiculous. So let's actually see how much damage I can do in here without the bounty buff. Um, that's a bit fair. How much damage was that? 1.5k in that much. Jesus, that's balance. Well, better get to this quick, boys, before this gets patched. It's a bit of a bit of a wild scaling system.
Whoop. I think he's mad. I would be too, I don't blame him. Anyway, that'll be the end of the video, boys. Uh, this is kind of a crazy build, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, a sub, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, peace.